Hey, I'm James. Welcome to my interview show with The Twist. This is Lorenzo. We're going to sit down, eat some wings, talk some shop, and see what happens. Peace, love, and rock and roll, death to all posers. <laughs> you ready, brother? Ready when you are. Let's do it. Let's do this. All right. Lorenzo, how do you feel about hot stuff? Like, what's your tolerance to pain? Are you, uh... Lorenzo Garoni, that's me, man. Pleasure to be here. I'm glad to be here, James. I'm glad to have you here, man. No, Thank my, you for showing my, up, man. My tolerance to pain? I don't know, but don't ever threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, our first wing is, uh, and we've done a different format this time. Uh, we've been dousing the wings with sauce ourselves. Um, I've pre-tossed them in advance, um, just to kick it up a notch. All right? Um, our first wing is our Texas Pete Hotter Sauce, which uh, checks in on the Scoville scale at about 2,000, so, you know. 2,000, which is basically uh, salt. Salt. Okay, Lorenzo, <laughs> are you ready? Ready with you, Arjun. Let's hit that first wing, brother. All right, let's do it. All right. Cheers. Let's do That's it. a good time. Good. So Lorenzo. Yes, James. You were born in Germany. That is correct. I was born in Stuttgart, Germany, 19, 1983 to 23rd of November. I lived in Germany between uh, for three years up to 1986 and came to the United States in 86 when my parents were discharged from the army. I've been up and down um, the East Coast. Um, I settled a long time in uh, Richmond, Virginia. That's a little hot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... I'm feeling it. Yeah, who knows where to put that bottle at. But, oh, my um, God. But, yeah. Like, I've been... Like, I lived in Richmond, Virginia up to 1995 and came to Fayetteville in 95, and I've been here for... Ever tw since? Yeah, 21 years now. Yeah, I graduated in 91, and I left for 25 years, just moved back two years ago. My two-year anniversary is actually March 16th. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, I'm, and I went, I went to school here. I was, in the, um, I was in the school band in middle school and high school, and I was in the marching band. I was probably the worst trumpet player there. Trumpet, okay. Yeah, but then I, in my junior and senior year, I switched over to kind of um, being on the drum line playing the crash cymbals, and I... A lot of people would look at that as the the low point of the drum line, but I, I but I didn't see it as that. I kind of put my own twist on it. It's like like I started doing like like stunts and wrist flips, kind of adding flair to it. It's kind of like shock rock. It's like like I kind of added theatricals and to, to the to more theatricals of, of you know being in the marching band. And I've been I've been involved in music ever ever since I like I graduated, and then. Um, Got into the music scene, and I, when I graduated in 2003, my I, my my best friend uh, DJ Colville has gotten me into into the music scene in 2004. My first ever show was um, Moto Grader at um, at Jester's Pub. He took he took me there. I had had a blast. Then I, he bought me out in 2005 to work. Um, to do some loader or AKA roadie work okay. uh, for saliva. And, oh wow! Okay. Yeah, so, saliva and raw, and that was the first show I'd ever worked. And then um, I worked. I worked some other shows um, sporadically between 05 and 07, because because you know I was always like at a regular job. And then I became full time at Jester's Pub in 2008. Now Jester's is now defunct. Uh, they're they're yeah. no longer in. Yeah. Business or yeah, it's no longer it's no longer in business, but the legend off the le the legend still stands to this legend day. Remains. It's kind of like the flaming mug. Yeah, a reunion show which is Sunday at Cadillac Ranch. 
badass. Like I hear Joey Miller raving about that. Yeah. Oh yeah. The gray. Uh, a lot of a lot of gray bands are gonna be there. Okay. Um. You ready for the next one? Ready. All right. Next up on the challenge is. I'm feeling the Texas Pete actually. Oh um, man, this this I got like a little Texas little Pete mustache, little bit of a yeah, thumbtack on the tongue. All right, Nando's Perry Perry sauce, hot sauce. <clears throat> Weighs in on the Scoville scale at twenty five thousand Scoville units. Um, you ready? Ready when you are. Let's do it. All right, Nando's. It's a little more vinegary. It's got some flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I like Nando's. I could eat that on a... <laughs> a chicken tender or... a hot. A little bit of backlash. Mm -hmm. I, I got a little, little more vinegar on that one. But still, still it's, it's a good one nonetheless. Okay, Lorenzo. <clears throat> so you do landscaping? Yes, I do. La I do landscaping um, whenever I'm not in the music scene. Okay. Because okay. I I used to be I used to be very active in in my in in my twenties, and then you know, the scene kind of went went in like a a slowdown period. So then I was like, I'm, I gotta stay busy and stay relevant, you know. And uh, well, not relevant, just stay busy because I always do, I I like to stay still. No, not stay still. We gotta edit that one. I'm sorry, people. But I, I don't like to stay still. Like if I'm not in the music scene, I'm always you know doing different. Busy, you know, staying busy. Yeah, yeah right. different jobs. You know, just to keep changing my pocket, like Wooderson says from uh, Days and Confused. So um, you're an active member of the local music scene, uh, well known by a lot of people, a lot of great musicians, uh, just friends. Well, so to speak. I'm actually flattered that you say that. Let's uh, <laughs> let's talk about that for a minute. I mean, because. Uh, okay. Everyone that has been here knows Lorenzo. I mean, uh, Steve Smith, mm -hmm. Joy Miller, Crow Kozak. Um, let's talk about let's talk about the lo local music scene let's and what it means that. to you, man. Let's um, do that. The, like the local music scene, it's like I don't I don't know where I'd be without it. It's like there's no there's no life without music, and and with all with all the the friends that I've made, like all the the injuries I've done to my neck from banging my head. It's like, it's, it's been a beautiful ride so far and the ride's not over yet. It's like, I've been from, after Jester's, I've been from different different venue, but it's like, I always see the same people and I, it's the first place I've ever been where I actually felt at home, where I actually felt like I could be myself. And that's what the music scene means to me. It's like, I can be myself without being, without being judged. And it's like, I, to to me that go, that goes a long way, because it's like you try you try fitting in with like with the clockwork of society. Yeah, it's not gonna work that way. Yeah, it's uh, then, you gotta then, be you. Do your thing, man. Yeah, um, you can't you can't conform. Conformity yeah. is Conform suicide. Yeah, oh, exactly. It's, it's it's suicide of everybody's personality. But then you get into something like the music scene where you get to express yourself, and you and you don't yeah. have to. And you can just pretty it's much. Poetic. Yeah, express yeah. express yourself, and you 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 attract your tribe beside, by your vibe, man. Absolutely. And you don't have to, and you don't have to worry about about being judged, you know, unless it's some drunken some drunken bar patron you don't know. Like, but who who cares about that? It's like I'm around my people. That's all I care about. Okay, um, Lorenzo. Next up is uh, Blair's after death sauce with liquid fire. Now, this gets to everybody. Got the crow. It got to Steve, it got to Joey, it got to me. It's a, uh, it's vengeful. Um, I'm next on the list then. We'll just, yeah, we'll you're, just you're up that. next. <laughs> it's on the Scoville scale at 48,000. And, um, you ready? I'm ready, man. Let's hit it, man. I was boom. Blair's. Ready. Blair's, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to regret this one. I'm going to enjoy regretting this in the morning. Tossed in it. Not just a dad. Here we go. Mm. So Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you all right, man? Yeah, I'm good. What are your other passions? My other passions? 
passions. Oh, oh yeah, my other passions. Um, I can show you better than I can explain it, man. Sure, man, go ahead. When I'm not doing music, like, I also like to practice martial arts. Those are my nunchaku. I'm completely self-taught, and I'm just kind of keeping up a family tradition. My grandfather was a um, sixth dan in Goju Ryu Karate. My brother was a wrestler in the Jack Britt High School. And I'm just a self-taught martial artist with, I, I train myself in weapons. <clears throat> you feeling the heat? Oh yeah, I'm feeling the heat. I'm feeling it, yeah. I might need to take a sip of this little beer, man. Ooh, it's like, don't let the poker face fool you, everybody. I'm screaming bloody murder inside. <laughs> just wait. Ah. That's hot. Before this is over, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have like not just a mustache, but a full grown, a full grown neck that, beard of hot sauce. Here comes the back, the backlash. I'm feeling it. <coughs> I'm feeling it uh, from the Blairs. It's evil. God damn it, you ain't lying. <laughs> Steve Smith, Joey. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I think tossing the wings was a great idea. It's painful, but effective. Painful yet pleasing. <laughs> All right. Mm. All right. Uh, we're um, almost at the halfway point, Lorenzo. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Woo. Next up. Buffalo Wild Wings Blazing Sauce. They have a wing challenge that involves this sauce. Um, ghost pepper. Checks it on the scope scale of about 300,000. Oh no, are you losing your breath, man? A little bit. Uh oh. Um, <clears throat> it's a, uh, it's a really hot one. Oh man, so much for building up a tolerance with sriracha. <laughs> exactly. Um, so whenever you're ready, man. Mm -hmm. Let's do it, man. Cheers. Cheers, brother. <sighs> the things I do for rock and roll. <laughs> Let's do it. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> Please don't touch your eyes, rub your eyes. <clears throat> I can play cool, Lorenzo. Lorenzo's like Mr. I don't feel the heat. I, like I said, don't let the poker face fool you. I, I, hey. By the time this is over, I'm gonna have a full grown neck beard of hot sauce. I've got a poker face. Lorenzo. Okay, challenge accepted. <sighs> like a staring contest. If okay. you had... <laughs> <laughs> this fucking hurts. <laughs> if you had one style of music to listen to for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? One style of music, I don't know, because that shit is hot. But but with a gun to my head, I'd have to say rock and roll. And the reason being is because I owe it to my ancestors who created this genre. It's like, pardon me. One thing I absolutely despise is, oh, shit. is being tokenized. <sighs> being tokenized in a genre that, that my ancestors created. Like, it's like every show that I go to, it's like, I, I don't feel like I have to prove myself, but I, I always go out there to stand my ground and so to let people, let people know that, hey, it doesn't matter how many times you say that I'm, you try to say I'm like, and it's, it's not a racial issue or anything like that. It's just, you know, I, I always feel like I have to st stand my ground because a lot of people say like, oh, you're the whitest black guy I know. I'm like, no, I'm being me because I know the history. So it's your passion. So yeah, yeah. I I live and I die. Fuck that. Eat, sleep, drink, breathe rock and roll, and I die for it too. Let that be known. <clears throat> All right, next up. Lorenzo is uh. Take you pace yourself. <laughs> One fucking drop at a time, hot sauce. It uh. 
it checks it on the Scoville scale at a mere 500,000. I would say that's more than a drop on that motherfucker right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, that's one that stinks up on you, man, because on the front end, it's not bad, but it, it kicks your ass. I mean, look at this shit. You know, it's literally one drop. you got to put it like, doop, like, like, like that. <laughs> and we got the whole wing covered like that. I'm already breaking a sweat. Yeah, it was a good idea to toss him this time. My sciences are clearing up. That's what's up. <laughs> Alright, so whenever you're ready. Uh, give me strength. Three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Go. Not so bad. Oh, just putting them all together. Just neither is sticking fire in your face or your mouth. Here it comes. Mm. There's a buildup. <sighs> Crying a little bit. <laughs> So Lorenzo, you see the sweat breaking out of my forehead right now. I can feel it. <laughs> Let's talk Van Halen for a minute. Let's do that. Van Halen, you're, you're a great band. You're a well-versed guy in the area of music and musical talent musicians. I try to be. I like Van Halen more of a, a connoisseur than yeah. It's coming up now. Uh, favorite frontman for Van Halen, who and why? Go. Oh, oh my goodness, that's a tough one. But really, because you, you get the, you get the best of both worlds where you go with uh, David Sammy, you get the the hardcore the hardcore rebellion with with the with the Roth Army, and then with Sammy Hagar, you get the more refined, progressive, more laid back, uh, mature sound of Van Halen, which people call that Van Hagar. It's hard to decide, but if I had to choose one frontman, it would have to be David Lee Roth. Okay, it's fair enough. Sammy Hagar guy, but Van Hagar. Hey, it's good either way, man. Don't don't ever let the Roth Army shame you out of liking Van Hagar. They got they got they got some bangers too. All right, next up. Goodness gracious, man! What the fuck? This shit is fucking <laughs> hot. Oh my goodness. You see, <clears throat> we've been uh, dousing the wings, dropity drop. And not really feeling it, but um, this time I actually tossed the wings in the sauce in advance, prepared them. Um, yeah, it's hot. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Holy crap! All right, yeah. compose myself here. Get yourself together. Just take your time, man. All right. Next up, and this one is a is. Part of my language, a motherfucker. Tropical Pepper Companies, all their shit is hot. This is their ghost pepper sauce. It uh, it checks it at about five hundred and twenty-five thousand Scoville units. Oh man! Um, and Rob, that sounds you, painful. <laughs> if you can see the little bits of seeds in there and all the nastiness and the the bright, bright red, you know. Uh, Fuck. So, Lorenzo, Man. Brody, brilliant guy, great guy, local guy. You ready? I am ready, man. Let's do it, man. Cheers. Toast to it. <laughs> You spend 24 hours. If you could spend 24 hours with your favorite musician, who would it be, and what would you do? Go. Oh man, hands down, I, it would be none other than the, the late great James Marshall, Jimi Hendrix. Good Re choice. Reason, man. reason being is because I, I would love to take some guitar lessons from him. Like, 
like to me he is he like he's like maestro right out of everybody in the 1960s era of rock and roll he's he's the maestro so who who better man who better what song would you learn first oh man i don't know I, a, any song that's not being played on on the jukebox like like everybody everybody knows purple haze the wind cries mary and especially all along the watchtower me, I, I'd have to go with uh, uh, Voodoo Child's Slight Return, or even Catfish Blues, like, like we played last week. Yeah. That's a favorite of mine. I remember seeing stock footage of Jimi Hendrix, um, I'm rocking like a child, and like, mommy right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I remember seeing Jimmy playing, uh, I'm sure you've seen the footage, uh, Tut, playing guitar with his teeth. Yes. And then he, he sets the guitar on fire. It's like like legendary. Oh yeah. I it's it's just the moments like that you would never like if you were alive in that time you would never know, but then you see it later and it's, and it's just it's history. It's like etched in stone. Like it's just it's just the most amazing it was the most amazing scene. It's like that was his uh debut in the United States. Fuck. Oh yeah, I feel it. <laughs> mm. God damn it, man. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Next up, shout out to my good friend Dwayne Stone at Cedar Creek Fish Farms. Um, he donated this. Uh, it's a local hot sauce. Faith Farms scorpion pepper sauce. It checks in on the scale at about 780,000. Skull no. units. Let's focus on the bottle of this. This looks like the most non-threatening bottle right here. This is it looks like something that Paul Newman would put his face on. But this is probably like the most painful one could have sit at the end of the table. Oh shit. Um, we still have the mystery wing challenge. Oh yeah. Oh shit. What that is shit, huh? that? We're gonna find out. I've got my nose like Niagara Falls right now. <laughs> All right, so Faith Farms. Oh, shit. Mm -mm. Let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck the bullshit. <laughs> to live what do you say last last night on earth 10 seconds last night on earth what do I say anybody got a light my brother <laughs> all right so we're down to our mystery wing challenge which uh da 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 is our Rectum Wrecker Sauce. Rectum Wrecker Sauce. Which was created. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. Rectum Wrecker. That means Not that at some point we're going to be shitting fireballs tonight. Created in my kitchen last weekend. Uh, it, it, it's uh, 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 Frank's Red Hot. Uh, 
ghost pepper sauce, Worcestershire butter, and Carolina Reaper. Um, so, <coughs> Carolina Reaper checks in at 1.5 million Scoville units. 1.5 million, sorry. I'm surprised we made it this far, man, for real. <laughs> so, we're going to do this wing. Lorenzo, you get your plug. And that's it for this week's Hotter Ones. Mm. If, well, some shout out, like shout outs. Anything you want to say, man. You got 30 seconds. Anything you want to say. What yeah. about whoever, whatever. It's your yeah. time in the, in yeah. the spotlight. I wanna, I wanna wait, wait, wait. You gotta, we got to do the Mission Ring Challenge first. Oh, man. Will I be able to talk after that? Um, that's a, we're going to find out. Oh, man. <laughs> well, let's, let's sidetrack for a second. Uh, favorite, uh, favorite Pink Floyd song. Um, that would have to be um, another brick in the wall. Like, okay, I just love, I love the part sound. one or part two. I, I love both parts. All right, I like, I think especially like Gilmore, fucking genius on the guitar. And I love, I love the tone of, like, that he gets out of his Fender Stratocaster and he plays a solo on it. It's amazing. I love it. Something nice to vibe to, like when, when, you're, when you're all by yourself. You got it turned out at medium volume, laid back, not a care in the world. Mine is a Wish You Were Here. I could listen to that song for hours. We're two lost souls swimming in the fishbowl year, year after year. After year and yes. I've been in so many situations where you, you look at a green field and you're thinking, wow, um, I can relate to that. Kind of funny you mentioned that. I used to actually live across from a green field. Like, like I would always go outside at night. Cold steel rails, to me, is always a security fence or something like yeah. that keeps people out. You know? But, oh, fuck. Like, it was it was just the most tranquil experience. Like, living across from a field, you walk outside, no traffic, no no city lights. And it's just nothing but you, nature, and the stars right above your head, man. It's, it was beautiful. And it's amazing, you, yeah. Yeah, play, All right. play the right music. And hey, um, um, you want to do it? You want to hit it? Or would you rather eat a pepper? Oh man, we're hitting the wing, man. All right, shit. So I'm scared of this because I I haven't I haven't tried it. This looks scary. I haven't sampled it. You haven't tried it. No. So it's been a good chill, bro. Tell my mother I love her, man. <laughs> All right. Tell her I love her. If I don't make it out of this, so we're gonna do this. You get your plug, and we're done. Hey. You ready? I am ready. I'm not. Fuck. Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Kind of sweet at first. Mm -hmm. The ghost pepper lets you know it's there. <laughs> Gracious, my brother. Oh man, thanks for filling in. Hey. Love you like a brother. Hey, anything, hey, anything to keep keep the scene going, man. Got your plug. Hit it. Yo, I want to give a shout out to everybody over at the Rock Shop and the Drug Horse Pub, and to the legend of Jester's Pub. Shout out to Mike Sarisky. Rest in peace to Claudia, my homeboy DJ Colville, and my boy Sleepy Sean. And with with uh, the three of us. All, all I can say is that it's been it's been a beautiful ride in, in the scene, and I look forward to many more years of making memories, breaking skulls, and rocking out. Lorenzo, we'll see you next time.
Peace. Cut it. Satan.